Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to set the record straight. Stop the lies. Stop the narratives, y'all. Stop them from rewriting the history. You guys know the deal on this channel, man. And in this video, we're going to put some respect on Michael Jordan. And we're going to talk about Michael Jordan and the black ink. That's right, the quote-unquote black ink that's all over his resume. When you look on basketballreference.com. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about today the black ink of Michael Jordan, man. It's off the charts, guys. Off the charts. And I want to thank you guys, man, everyone out there across the world, everyone across the states that's been supporting my channel, guys. It is truly, truly humbling. Much respect to all you guys out there, man, for real, man. Everybody in the membership, shout out to everybody in the membership, guys. The membership is like, like I think like 23 members deep right now. Number 23, right? It's special, right? that number. So shout out to all you guys for real, man. It's truly humbling. All the support you guys have been showing my channel, man, for real, man. Thank you very much, everybody out there. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, Michael Jordan and the black ink, the quote-unquote black ink that's all over his basketball reference page. Now, if you guys have never been to basketball reference, I'm going to explain to you what I mean by black ink. So, if you go to basketballreference.com, it's a a popular web website where a lot of people get their information from, right? It's a lot of stats are on this website. It's a very good website if you're looking for detailed numbers, right? Everything's usually updated really quickly. It's, it's all accurate stuff, man. And it really breaks it down. Like I said, the statistics, you know, all-star games, the awards, all kinds of stuff you can find on Basketball Reference if you know how to search through it. However, a lot of people do not realize, though, when you go into basketballreference.com, right, you go into the website, right, and you type in Michael Jordan's name, let's say, for example, right, you put in Michael Jordan, what's going to come up is Michael Jordan's page, right? And on this page, it'll have things like all of his stats, right? It'll have, like, his height, his weight, where he was born, where he went to college, where he was drafted, what school he came from. You know, things of this nature will be there. It'll have all of his stats, right? They'll have the per-game averages all across the board, right? It'll have the total accumulated stats all across the board. It'll have the advanced stats. These are different things that you can see on Michael Jordan's basketball reference page, and like I said, this is great information if you guys ever want to look into stuff, look into certain players. Uh, it shows all their accolades, right? The things that they've won in their career. Uh, it's, it gives you a good description, like I said, of the stats. This is not going to help you with the eye test watching these players, but it gives you an idea of things that they accomplished in their careers. But when we look on a basketball reference page for a Michael Jordan, for example, right? What you'll notice is that on Michael Jordan's per game uh, area, on the total area, and in the advanced metrics area, what you'll notice is there are some areas that are highlighted in dark black, dark, bold black numbers, right? A lot of people don't know what this is or why that is. And this is the quote-unquote black ink that I'm telling you guys about right now. And Michael Jordan has more black ink than any other player in NBA's history, guys. So when we think about these things, what it shows you is the black ink a, a stat leader. You led the NBA in that stat. That's why it's in bold numbers. For example, Michael Jordan, if you go to his page right now, Basketball Reference, what you'll notice in the per game section is all the black uh, numbers as far as scoring average, right? The points per game. It's all in black letters for Michael Jordan. Why is this? Because every single season, essentially, Michael Jordan led the league in points per game. So those numbers are highlighted in black because he was a league leader in that stat, right? If you look at his steals, you'll notice that some of the, the per game averages are in dark black, right? Michael Jordan led the league in steals in three separate occasions, right? So it'll be in bold black letters. You'll also see times that Michael Jordan played all 82 games in a season. He might've been a league leader that season, playing all 82 games in a season, right? You'll also notice uh, things where maybe... Uh, your averages are leading the league. So if someone led the league in rebounds, let's say, right, you'll notice that the year that they led the league in rebounds, it will be dark black, right? So when we look at Michael Jordan, his, his basketball reference page, and you look at the per game box, which is the first box that comes up, then you scroll down, you'll see the total, the totals, and you'll also see numbers in black. 
And when you look at this, you'll see black all over Michael Jordan's basketball reference page, guys. I believe I counted over 150 or 140 black ink marks between the per game numbers, the totals, and the advanced metrics numbers. All these are in black. Michael Jordan has over 140, I believe, black marks between the three. And I did not count games. So every single section, you'll see games, games started, whatever it is, those will be highlighted in black for a time that he led the league in that stat. But I didn't count that for every every single one, every metric. I only counted it for the first one. And I was over 140, guys. Over 140, this guy had. I want to say it was like 149 different black ink marks. So like I said, if you go to the total numbers, then you'll see like Michael Jordan's rookie season, for example. He did not lead the NBA in points per game that year. So in the per game numbers, it's not highlighted that 28 points per game his rookie season. But if you go to the totals, you'll see his total points for his rookie season is highlighted in black ink because he led the league in total points as a rookie that season. Remember, he did not lead in points per game. That was Bernard King, who I believe only played like 50 games that season or 50-some games, whatever the case may be. I believe he finished third in points per game behind Bernard King and Larry Bird. But Michael Jordan scored more points than both of them because he played in all 82 games that season. So his total for points is in black. Go look at the totals. Field goals attempted. Field goals made. Michael Jordan was always leading the league in these things, right? Because he had to carry the Bulls offensively. There's all, all evidence of this stuff, right? All total points. Michael Jordan's black all up and down. The total steals that he's had, he led the league in. Go look at these things. He led the league in total mints uh, several seasons, Go look at how much black ink is on Michael Jordan's resume and then go to the advanced analytics. And this is where it gets interesting because for someone like Michael Jordan and other players from ba and past eras, they did not play for the analytics, for the stats. They did not know about these things. I told you guys, when I was growing up, no one talked about stats this way. No one thought about advanced analytics. These guys did not play for 50, 40, 90 seasons. I told you guys, Larry Bird accomplished this without even trying for it, without even knowing he did it, right? Guys didn't get triple doubles like that back in the day. They did not go for these things. It was a, a more of a rare occurrence, right? So when we think about that era of NBA and we're talking about these kinds of things, we must remember, guys, this is why someone like a Michael Jordan Right? It's really, when you look, I said, you look at the numbers and you see the advanced analytics. This man was leading the league in all these advanced analytics every single season. The value over replacement, the PER numbers, right? The defensive box plus minus, like all these weird analytic numbers that we never heard about when we were kids. All we had was our eyes and what we saw these guys do on the basketball court. That's what we use to judge and rank players. But now, all these years later, these newer age fans, the new analytic era, right? has been a push in the NBA. So a lot of these guys are more conscious of their numbers, right? But Michael Jordan's advanced analytics, guys, off the charts. Black ink all over Michael Jordan's advanced analytics. So like I said, he led the league in PR for like seven or eight straight seasons, whatever it was. The value over replacement player for all these years. Defensive win shares and offensive box for, uh, plus minus. All these numbers that you guys have never even heard of when we were growing up that are, you know, big now. Michael Jordan was leading the league in all these advanced stats, all these metrics, every single season. And when you look in the postseason, guys, it's the same deal, man. It's just as impressive. So, guys, when I'm telling you guys about Michael Jordan, I told you guys on this channel, the more you dig into Michael Jordan's career, the more impressive it becomes. These are the facts, ladies and gentlemen. When you look at Michael Jordan's basketball reference page, and these are just the stats, guys, we're talking about in this video. And I told you guys, the eye test is more important, but you often need the full picture. And a lot of people go to basketball reference for their information, for statistics, right? To make comparisons, to look at certain things, to learn. When you look at that page, you'll notice the black ink. Some players don't even have any black ink on their pages, right? Some players never led the league in anything. They were still great players, but they never led the league in any metric, no total stats, no per game, nothing, right? So they have no black ink on their, on their page. Michael Jordan is full of it, full of it, guys. Go count next time you have a little bit of time. It'll take you some minutes, Go look at it, the postseason and the regular season, black ink for the per games, the totals, the advanced metrics, guys. Michael Jordan was sensational, guys. The more you dig into his resume, the more you dig into his career, the more amazed you, you become. I'm telling you guys, I grew up watching this guy and had the things that I've been learning over the last several years. I never knew about this man. And I grew up watching this stuff. But I told you, I didn't have a computer growing up. We didn't have cell phones like that and, you know, things of that nature. We had to actually watch the games. You know, so with all the information at your fingertips now, 
Go take a basketball reference, guys. You will see what I'm talking about, the quote-unquote black ink of Michael Jordan and how it's all over his resume, guys. It's insane to me. Uh, the, the, the things that this man was doing on both ends of the court at that level, man, you know, for that long. It's insane, guys. You guys know the deal, man. Remember, it's not about you believing Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time or not on this channel. But the one thing that cannot be denied, man, is that Michael Jordan, like I told you guys, is the most box office, the most iconic basketball player in the history of the NBA, guys. And the effort that this man gave on both ends of the court cannot be denied. To me, Michael Jordan is the greatest two-way player in the history of the game. To me, no one has been as great on offense and on defense simultaneously in the history of the NBA. You can argue someone like a Will Chamberlain, perhaps, as far as offensive and, de and defensive dominance simultaneously. But Michael Jordan was able to do these things and win. That's the difference, guys. And also remember, Michael Jordan's a six foot six guard who's able to accomplish these things, man. It's a rare feat. So go check out Michael Jordan's basketball reference page if you've never been there. Like I said, it's just good information. And check it out and look at all the black ink and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, guys. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.